And look here. I may not be the best one for all of this. But I'm trying with you. I'm really trying to give it my all and make things actually seem worthwhile. Let me put this blunt because that's exactly how I do things. You've been sad lately. You've been bored. You've been everything. These trying times have been more trying than they should have been. And unlike what many others may do, I'm going to tell you that's just fine. Life has a way of putting us through the ringer. A long time ago, I wanted to be a, well, a hero. Even if I didn't get my wish in the first way that I wanted it to be, I suppose in a way I got my wish. It just wasn't quite as sunshine and rainbows as everyone says it is, I guess. And when I look at you, I see myself. I see the struggles you're going through now, and I just think, damn, to think there was someone who was just like me. To think there's someone who's just like you are right now. History repeating itself. But that's how I know I can believe in you. That's how I know you're not too well done. Burnt to a crisp like me. You can still be a perfect golden brown or something. But even with that, what do you want? What is it you want in this world? Sadly or not. The world bends to those who don't give up. And I want you to be there with me for it all. I love you. I love you something fierce. And I just always want more of you. And I know it may be something you only want sometimes or maybe you want it all the time. Just like me. But I can say without any doubt. I'm gonna make you. So happy. And unlike others. It's not for bullshit reasons. Or beating around the bush. Not that I'm slighting them. If they make someone feel better or happier. That's on them, but they're not my style. I'm so much more blunt. If I like something, I like it. If I don't, you'll probably hear about it. And besides all that, I'm willing to bet my touch has every bit as much a curative property as has the most potent healing quirk around. <laughs> it's like every time I touch you, I hold you. It just makes you that much more vulnerable to the next time. I think that's what I like about you. I like picking on you because when I remind you that you're a person too. That it's not really picking on you. It's all fun. Games and everything in between. And yet here I am. Staring into your eyes longingly. And why do you think that is? Because I love you. And I wouldn't love you. Let me be honest you weren't just the way you are if you thought you weren't worth it well guess what I say you are and you respect me don't you so respect yourself give yourself a hint of credit that this old burned zombie man thinks you're hot as hell no don't go getting shy at me yet I haven't even ripped into you <laughs> 
that I would do anything you wouldn't want me to. First of all, just listen to me. If you think you're not worth it, then look at me. That's right. You always have this idea of perfection for yourself, don't you? Well, just how perfect am I? I'm burnt to a crisp. My power slowly damaging my insides, and what am I going to do about it? I'm probably the most imperfect person you'll ever know. But I've embraced that a long time ago. Is what's the point in holding it so far away when it's such a focal point of my existence? It's the scars that make us who we are. Not necessarily the deeds or the memories, though they have a very big impact. If you have scars, be proud of them. I know what it's like to hurt yourself, whether it's intentional or not. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I used to burn myself just to feel. And sometimes I know you've probably done something of the same. Where you do something you know you shouldn't. You feel guilty, but you want to feel. Because a lot of the times life takes that feeling out of you, doesn't it? It exhausts you. It makes you feel like you're not good enough. Like you're an empty husk. And trust me, I know that feeling. My love. My cute, scarred love. You may not see the scars on the outside, but I can see them on your heart as plain as day. Now, why don't you just spill it before I make you? What's going on? Hmm, let me guess. Right now, the stress of everything changing, yet nothing at all. The idea that you're trapped in a situation again and again, and it's repeating, right? You feel like you can't get a breath of water because it's flooding and flooding, and you feel like it's helpless. Then why don't I put it in a simple way you'll understand? Am I helpless to you? Well, if you can see hope in this dead man walking, then you can probably see hope in something else. Something from within yourself. Because, let's face it, you're worth it. I wouldn't bullshit and say you were if you weren't. That's just the kind of person I am. I'm blunt and to the point, and that's why I kiss without hesitation. That's why I follow my heart no matter where it takes me, no matter what obstacle I face. If I say I love you, then I love you, plain and simple. If I say I don't like what you're doing, that's just how it is. I may or may not like it, but I will respect it. <sighs> you see, down to the way you doubt yourself, the way you treat yourself, it all makes me reminded of how I was a year ago, maybe two. Most of my life's been spent doing the same things over and over and over again. But I don't want you to be stuck in that rhetorical thing. It's ugly and boring and you deserve better than that. And that's why you're choosing to be with me. To listen to my words. To feel my embrace, my kiss, my everything. It's proof you want change. Like signing a contract with the devil. Only this devil is a little bit more crispy than most. And honestly, all of this just reminds me of how much you can be. You ultimately have to make the decision to be whatever it is you want to be. 
But I can see you accomplishing way more than you think you can. You probably think you're not good enough because of the grades or something of the sort. Some form of grade life has given you. Whether that be your performance in some hobby, a literal grade, or some judgment placed on you by someone higher up. It doesn't matter whether it's family or foe. Don't let them win. I see you, you know. Right through you. Because you're so easy to read. I can tell that lack of self-esteem. It haunts you, doesn't it? Oh, that's okay. We all have our demons, but others might try and tell you. That's a bad thing. It doesn't have to be. We need to harness our demons. At least that's how I view it. But your demons are probably pretty cute. Judging by how adorable you are. Now listen here. Just relax into my arms like this. Just relax, baby. I promise I'll take good care of you. I just need you. To relax, enjoy yourself, and let the stress just go away. Take a deep breath if you need. But I think that sometimes even I get carried away, letting my emotions get the best of me, especially when it comes to you because you make me feel you make me no longer numb. And that's a double-edged sword, I guess. Everyone fears once they've been numb for so long. that when the numbness stops, you're afraid there's going to be more pain waiting. More mistakes, more bad things. But understand that way back then, those things that happened, you're not to blame at all. Not a single one of them. And I know how you feel, how they haunt you. How each and every time it ruins your day. You have nightmares on it. It haunts you, and I know. That's why I'm fighting for you, baby. That's why. I won't let the nightmares have you. If I can claw my way out of dying to what I have... And I can claw you out of your situation, too. But you need to want it, too. You can't just be willing to accept that numbness. Because then it will never change. And I know change is frightening. You've said it a million times how it's something that can bother you. Maybe it's the unspoken words that matter the most in terms of that. All because I know how much this means to you. I know how much you try. I just think your efforts are placed in the wrong place. You try and push it into the past. You try and push it away from your heart, from yourself, instead of actually trying to face it because you don't know how. And it's okay not to know how. Fuck, it's not something many people know. Nobody knows what they're doing in this world because there's so many things that are a first for so many people. And so, of course, it's going to be one of those difficult situations. One of those where you don't know exactly which way is left or right. You don't know where you are. And I know how scary that is. And that's why you don't have to do it alone. I'll never leave your side. Never. No matter what you do, baby, you'll always have me right here. No matter how far you go or what you say, I'm going to be watching out for you. And I'll be right by your side giving you kisses and cuddles so that when you finally 
stop being numb. The only love and happiness remains. And sure, maybe there's going to be some pain along the way. But if you didn't have bad times, you'd have absolutely no good times because just good all the time. Without any contrast, it's like art. Imagine a painting without any contrast, without any shadows. You can't have light without darkness, and you can't have one without the other. And that's why you shouldn't try and be perfect. You should try and be better. With that said, I think you're so fucking adorable. The way you don't know what to say. The way you understand me, down to my last word. That's exactly why. I just want to kiss you forever. Not only to get my point across, but to get my feelings. As raw and carnal as they are, all I want is you. All I need is you. And I wouldn't be able to face you if I didn't tell you how it is. That's one thing you won't get from me. I'm not exactly very shy when it comes to expressing how I feel about you. And I will do anything. Anything in this world or the next to make your life that much better. find that happiness amongst the worst days to fix the sadness, the loneliness, the emptiness that you feel because it breaks my heart. I'm not one for emotions, but baby, you get to me like nobody else. You make me feel everything. You make me feel so complete, and yet here I am, wondering why and how and what you're going to do next, but being glad as fuck that I don't know. I like surprises, and you're full of them. You may think that just because you've made mistakes in the past, or had bad things happen to you. That your damaged goods, you're somehow not as good as someone who didn't have those things happen, and that's fucking wrong. You matter. You matter, and I want you to say it. I want you to feel it. Because every single fucking word I'm saying here, it's tailor-made for you. And I won't let you badmouth yourself anymore. Because there's no purpose in it, no ends to the means. And there's no reason, absolutely no reason, I would allow you to bully the person of my dreams, the love of my life, my baby. All I want is for you to be able to be you. For you to be. Exactly who you've always wanted to be. And I don't mean someone else, because that's unacceptable. Don't be someone else, be the best you. And if you don't like something, then work on it. Maybe not everything has that simple of a solution, and I know the pains of the past especially. Those haunting memories, those nightmares that you never wanted, but you get every night. And I feel for you, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna just wallow in that sadness. No, I'm gonna use it so that I can make that sad time of the past go away. I'll replace it with a million good ones, and I'll burn away every sad memory, every bad one, every terrible thing in that mind and heart of yours, because you don't deserve that. You deserve the world. And I'll make sure this world burns before it ends up being a nightmare realm for you. 
I don't care if I have to burn alive all of those who have wronged you. I would do it in a heartbeat. But do I think you need that? No. What would burning them change the damage they've done to you? It's already been done. It is the past now. I know it may not feel like the past, but I swear to you, that person won't get away with it twice. And if anyone, anyone at all, tries to stop us from living our dreams, then we stop them in their tracks. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I love you so much it hurts, but that hurt is what proves that I've, I've felt something. Sometimes pain isn't a bad thing. It's ironic to say from my perspective that maybe struggling isn't such a bad thing after all. I don't want you to have to go through it, but is that realistic? I know you have to face your demons, and I've said it before. I just wish your demons could be a little less terrible. I know. You were badly betrayed. You were abused. You were sad. You were neglected, and all those things put into one. I know that you face things that They'd make people cry just thinking about them. I should know. If I wasn't stronger now, I might be crying now. My heart aches for you. My lips quiver for you because... Everything you've done, everything you've been through is like a storied tale from a fancy book. But I want you to be able to get past it so you can smile brighter than you have ever smiled. So that you can properly be happy with who you are. So that you truly will have a way of finding yourself that you never felt you had. All I want is you unapologetically. I just want you in my life, in my arms, and I want to drown in your company, make you burn with the fire of love, baby, and make those tragic events of the past nothing more than bittersweet memories. I'll overdo the bitter with some sweet, trust me. Like how I'd let them win. You think I like letting anyone win at anything? You'd be damn wrong, <laughs> baby. The point of all of this isn't to make you feel bad, no. It's to make you feel amazing so that you don't have to worry. So that the darkness isn't quite so scary. That the light is right at the end of the tunnel. And that you don't have to hurt yourself. Make yourself sad. In order to be happy. You can do it. I believe in you, baby. I know you have so much inside of you. So much wonder. Innocence, happiness. You may think you lost all that, but you didn't. You could never lose what makes you you. No matter what horrible person has to say about it. No matter what monsters are in the closet or bad things you've done. I would never look at you any different. You are mine. Just as I'm yours, you're stuck with me, I'm afraid. So you better get used to this ball and chain because I'm going to take all of those sad things and burn them alive. And I don't mean that bullshit about just good and 
leaving the sad memories completely, no. Instead, I want you to have a proper escape, a proper way to clear yourself from the sadness. Like taking a shower after being doused in mud. It isn't inevitably you're gonna get dirty again, but that's the wonder of life, that changing conundrum. Needing this, wanting that, well, I think I can safely say you are more than a want. Because, baby, what you've done has given me something no one else could. And what I want to give you is what no one else has the guts to say. You gotta work for it, kid. And even then, you won't have to worry because you're not alone. And you never will be. forget the taste, the taste of your tears, nor the taste of your lips, because I'm serious about you, I'm not gonna let myself lose the good parts, you may have bittersweet, and so do I, but our scars brought us together in the first place. Then maybe the scars can make up for everything. But I'm willing to bet a million good memories are worth way more than a million bad. Those mental scars, those tragedies, they can't hurt you anymore. You're gonna be just fine, and if anyone tries to stop you, well... I'll stop them personally. I want you to be happy. I don't want to be dating someone who's just a husk, just a corpse waiting to go and put themselves in the ground. So if you feel like giving up, then don't. Try again with me. Try again as many times as it takes falling down. Because I know without a shadow of a doubt. There isn't anything you can't do, baby. There's nothing to stop us from being the happiest in the world. Why, do you think just because I'm extra crispy that I can't have my happy ending either? Come on now. You know me better than that. <laughs> Now, where were we? Kissing and cuddling the night away, right? I can get behind that. Yeah, so beautiful. Now you just gotta promise me. Someday you'll admit to it, too. <laughs> That's okay, you can be as stubborn as you want, because I'll win eventually. When it comes to patience, attrition, and passion, I'm afraid not even you could win there. Maybe the last one, but the other two. I don't think you're nearly as patient as me, baby. Otherwise, you'd hold back from letting me kiss you this much. I'll leave my mark so that the worthless marks of those who came before, of those who closed your heart and fossilized it, 
I think my mark would be much, much better. And maybe even allow for those soft, gooey insides of your heart. To actually have a chance in this world. I love you, baby. Now just stay 